This topic is on information architecture, understanding hierarchy. Taxonomy is classifying things or concepts, or in the case of websites, information, in a hierarchical structure. The term has Greek origins. Taxis means order or arrangement, and nomos means law or science, giving it the definition of being the science of ordering or arranging information. Almost anything can be classified by a taxonomic scheme. Usually there are multiple levels with parent-child relationships. You can see in this example that there are two types of categories of animals, mammals and reptiles. Animal would be the parent to mammal. Mammal and reptile are both children of animal, which means they are both categories of animals. In this example, snake is a type of reptile, and because of the hierarchy, it is also a type of animal. However, it is not a type of mammal. There are three main types of hierarchies, hub and spoke, multi-tiered, and web-like. The star, or hub and spoke hierarchical structure, has all pages linked off of a central home page. There is only a single level or tier in the hierarchy which means that this type of hierarchy is best for smaller websites with only a few pages. A multi-tiered hierarchy or tree architecture is a more complex hierarchy scheme. There are multiple levels with main categories and subcategories. Web-like hierarchies have all pages linked to each other. Web-like hierarchies are good for small sites or sites that primarily rely on searching. Browsing can be difficult with web-like hierarchies since there is no overarching structure or organization. Since there are different types of hierarchies and different ways to organize your site's information, it is important to think about the site structure in terms of how the user will use your site. Think about the user's mental models. A mental model is a user's thought process in understanding how something works. It's how they problem solve and interact with the interface to accomplish their goal. Additionally, if you have a strong, consistent IA, the user should be able to use a mental model to predict how to use the site as they become familiar with the site structure. Think about how you browse websites and the mental model you use. Different users will develop different mental models. Most often, you'll want to use a hybrid of hierarchy types like a multi-tiered hierarchy with additional links embedded in the page content. Be careful organizing your content and try to balance your menus. Balance the number of focal pages, such as the home page and pages off the main menu, with individual content pages. If you try to make every page important, none of the pages will be. When you try to emphasize too many pages, you usually end up with an IA that is too shallow. You have massive menu pages and all the user sees is a confusing list of unrelated terms. If they have to try too hard to find what they're looking for, they will leave. On the other hand, you can design IA that has too many layers or levels of menus. In that case, it takes many clicks for the user to find what they're looking for. Try to give the user as direct of a route as possible. You can organize your content using different types of structural themes. A straight sequence has linear navigation through a fixed set of material. An example of a straight sequence is when you have previous and next links so that the content is read in sequential order. Normal sequences represent levels of hierarchy. Exact sequence types include chronological, alphabetical, location, order of magnitude, and rankings. They are exact because there is a defined order to the theme. Ambiguous sequence types include categories, task-oriented, audience-specific, or metaphor-driven. They are ambiguous because they aren't necessarily ordered. An example of using an audience-specific theme is how the MSU website uses interest groups as the main menu options. They use the categories future students, current students, parents and families, faculty and staff, and alumni and donors. Using this type of structural theme 
groups, links, and content that each of those interest groups are most likely interested in and can make finding things easier if you fall within one of those user types. You can see that this type of grouping is ambiguous because there is no preset order that the links should be listed, and they are listed in order of importance or relevancy versus being listed in an exact order, like alphabetical. This particular type of ambiguous structural theme can be confusing for people who don't clearly fall or think of themselves as one of those types. For example, I am both faculty and an alumni, and when I use the MSU site, the site makes me think because I have to think about what I'm looking for and what grouping the site designers would have put it in. Most of the time, I actually use the current student section for the information I am looking for, although I am not part of that user group. The most common way to organize the site structure is with a hybrid method of multiple structural themes. You can see that the MSU site actually uses a hybrid structure with a top navigation organized by user types, but also a sidebar of navigation organized by topic. Hierarchy can be represented by using different types of navigation. Types of navigation include global navigation, local navigation, search boxes, topical links, breadcrumbs, sitemaps, and site indexes. 